Welcome to week number eight, the final week of the summer stitch along with our friends over at Yarnspirations.com as well as myself here at the Crochet Crowd. Now we're going to progress and do your final exam. So I hope you've been studying because we're gonna tie this up into a pretty bow. Really, the, the final border of your afghan is probably the most simplest of all, and you're going to enjoy that. So really, the hard labor has been done behind you. Don't worry, it's an open textbook exam. So without further ado, let's head on into the studio. Let's do your final border. Let's get you started on doing this and wrap up your project today. So here we are on week number eight, your final exam today. So what we're going to do is that we've already done the gray area that you see, we're only got one round left. I know week seven was a lot of work. I, I know that firsthand. So what I like to do with my afghans is that I like to put a little bit of a, a special effect on the outside. This is one of my go-tos of doing these extended pico kind of ideas. And we're going to be doing this as we go all the way around. And once you've done that, you're completely done your particular afghan. So without further ado, this is really super easy and it really makes a really great finished look. So as we head on into week number eight, you're gonna notice that it pins out like this a little bit. So if you're getting that, don't worry about that as part of the design. And what we have here is that you have your three layers of your blocks, right, that you see and that you were growing out and you did that in week number seven. So you can see that you really have put the time into this project. Now you would, would have noticed that this took a while to do. I'm not even gonna deny that. I couldn't even stand going one more box in the design because I really wanted to kind of move on. So what happens with the back post and the front post double crochet, it squats everything. So you got a ton of work here, but it doesn't look like a lot of work. And so that's one of those things where a visual in your mind really can uh, mess around with you. So let's uh, start your final round and let's do that together. So let's show you how to get started. It works over two stitches when you go to do this. So we're gonna start off in the chain space, ch uh, chain one to get us started in the round. So that's all you need to do for chaining one to start. You're just gonna single crochet back into the chain space and you're gonna chain three. So one, two, and three. Now there's two strands here. One is pointing straight up, the other one's leaning over. I want you to sink the hook in behind there those two strands. It doesn't go all the way through the back. Yarning over, pulling through and through and there is your picot. And in the very next stitch, remember there's a chain uh, two here, ignore that, just go to the top of the first uh, uh, half double crochet and then just single crochet. So this exists with single crochet, pico, single crochet in the next one. So let's advance to the next one. So you single crochet first, and then chain three, one, two, three, and then sink in behind the two strands. You get faster at this and pull through and through and then single crochet into the next one. So th that's how it's going to look on the outside. So you just go into the next one, single crochet first, pico, sink in behind those strands, pull through, and then single crochet in the next. So don't get into the habit of just single crocheting and then pico and then go to the next one, single crochet and pico. You wanna make sure that it's working up over two stitches. That's the biggest mistake I've seen on a crochet cruise. So you just single crochet the next one, pico, and then single crochet in the next one. Okay, so single crochet, pico, and then single crochet in the next one. So you end up with a really nice look on the outside of your blanket. And then that will conclude off your week number eight. This is your final exam of your whole lesson. Thank you so much for joining me this summer. Get this done and enjoy your afghan at the end of this round. So when you get all the way back around, just join it to the first one and then just slip stitch it and then fasten off and weave in any ends that are left on your blanket, including this one, and you're good to go. So now you're completely done your afghan. Isn't that pretty cool? Doesn't it look amazing? Are you proud of yourself? I'm giving you an A plus, 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 I know. So you may reward yourself in any way that you choose 
in order that makes you happy. So I'm really proud of you for being able to follow through if you've done so. And you know what, this is an accomplishment. It took me a long time to design this afghan, but I was really quite proud of it in the end. And when Daniel gives me the two thumbs up when it comes to the end of the projects that I design, it actually makes me feel really good too. So I hope that you feel like you've actually learned something new this summer and had a good time. So without further ado, I'm going to head on into the next video where we're going to do some giveaways. And I'll tell you a little bit more about that. So if you finished, congratulations. And if you'd like to try to win something, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.